Eskenazi excellent as Middlesex dominate on day one. The arrival of new head coach Mickey Arthur has sparked life into a Derbyshire setup that finished second bottom in last year's county championship. Along with the arrivals of Pakistani batter Shan Masood and Sri Lanka seamer Saranga Lakmal, Derbyshire have added Ian Bell to their coaching staff as the squad travel to North London to take on a Middlesex side intent on gaining promotion. And Middlesex started as they meant to go on, with Mark Stoneman clipping Sam Connors for a boundary off the very first ball of the season. But Stoneman's brisk start was short-lived, as Derbyshire's two new signings combined in the fourth over of the day, with Lakmal claiming his first wicket in a Derbyshire shirt after Stoneman was caught by Masood at mid-wicket. Meanwhile, an injury to Middlesex opener and England hopeful Sam Robson gave an opportunity to young batter Joshua De Cares, who combined with Steve Eskenazi to take Middlesex to 52 for 1 after the first hour. The two continued their form through to lunch, with Eskenazi striking several boundaries to finish the session unbeaten on 48, whilst De Cares was the more watchful of the two as he went to lunch on 36 of 85 deliveries. After the early loss of Stoneman, Middlesex would have been very pleased with their morning's work. 96 for 1 at lunch. Eskenazi brought up his half century of 81 balls shortly after the lunch break, a stellar start to the season for the former Middlesex captain. Likewise, De Cares went up the gears, reaching his maiden first class 50 off 115 balls with a powerful cut off Connors, a shot he replicated soon after, but this time against the bowling of Lackmouth. The Middlesex surge continued, with Eskenazi striking a number of boundaries to take himself into the 90s before a cut into the offside brought up three figures, his eighth in first-class cricket and the first of anyone this county summer. But the breakthrough for Derbyshire did finally arrive, as De Cares' fine innings came to an end on 80 and Middlesex on 199, Sam Connors with the breakthrough. Eskenazi's resistance finally came to an end shortly after tea, as he edged Lackmau to slip, where it was comfortably held by Wayne Madsen. The fourth wicket pair of Max Holden and Robbie White continued the Middlesex charge though as they added 58 together, with Holden in particular using the reverse sweep well against Thompson. But the shot would also prove to be his downfall as he was caught at a backward point attempting the shot once more and departing for a well-made 35. White and Davies would see out the remainder of play without any issues as Middlesex finished day one of the season with 307 for four. Lackmal, the pick of Derbyshire's bowlers, 2 for 77 on what was an altogether difficult start to life under Mickey Arthur.